Good morning, IGT. Today we're going to go over some points in the book of Acts. Like I said, I've been studying the New Testament a lot. So now that I already started on, I mean, I've been studying the Old Testament a lot. So now that I started on to the New Testament, one book that I decided to stop and, and start trying to read because I've been doing my devotional over the book of Romans. So this is going to be the book of Acts that I just woke up this morning. And so this is going to be a chapter that I read and I uh, meditate on for the morning and for my rest of my morning devotion going forward. So it's going to be Saul's conversion. So it's Acts chapter 9, verse 1 through 19. It says, Meanwhile, Saul was uttering threats with every breath and was eager to kill the Lord's followers. So he went to the high priest. He requested letters addressed to the synagogues in Damascus, asking for their cooperation in the arrest of any followers of the way he found there. He wanted to bring them both men and women back to Jerusalem in chains. As he was approaching Damascus on his mission, a light from heaven suddenly shone down around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul. Why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. The voice replied, I am Jesus, the one you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city, and you will be told what to, what you must do. The men with Saul stood speechless, for they heard the sound of someone's voice, but saw no one. Saul picked himself up off the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he was blind. So his companions led him by the hand to Damascus. He remained there blind for three days and did not eat or drink. Now there was a believer in Damascus named Ananias. The Lord spoke to him in a vision, calling Ananias. Yes, Lord, he replied. The Lord said, Go over to Straight Street to the house of Judas. When you get there, ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He is praying to me right now. I have shown him a vision of a man named Ananias coming in and laying, on, laying hands on him so he can see again. But Lord, exclaimed Ananias, I've heard my, I heard many people talk about the terrible things this man has done to the believers in Jerusalem, and he is authorized by the leading priests to arrest everyone he calls upon my, upon your name. But the Lord said, Go, for Saul is my chosen instrument to take my message to the Gentiles and to kings, as well as to the people of Israel, and I will show him how much he must suffer for my name's sake. So Ananias went and found Saul. He laid hands on him and said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you on the road has sent me so that you might regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Instantly, something like scales fell from Saul's eyes and regained his sight. Then he got up and was baptized. Afterward, he ate some food and regained his strength. So, the reason why I like this um, chapter of the Bible when they speak about Saul is because I just thought that it was interesting that, you know, it was basically somebody who killed the Christians, who killed the, the believers of the Lord. So God, I guess, made him blind. He made him blind so he couldn't see. I don't know what he was doing during this time that he was blind. Maybe he was in his house or maybe at a friend's house or maybe even still out on the road. But it said days at a time went by and he was blind. Then God um, decided to speak to him while he was blind and told him, Hey, I know you've been killing the Christians, and I want to change you. I want to change you so now you can preach to Christians, and you can try and motivate them to go along on to their journey. And so while he's speaking to him, I guess he decides to choose another person. And speak to this person and say, hey, I've chosen somebody for you to come and teach you and prophesy to you. This is going to be my chosen person that's going to be leading the Christians from now on. And once you speak to him, he's not going to be blind anymore. He's been blind for this many days. And now he, it's going to be time for him to see. So he needs to come speak to him. So God sent him to come speak to him. And then, like it said in the Bible, it was, it was like scales fell off his eyes. Scales fell off his eyes, and he was able to see again and able to preach to the people. So that just shows you the miraculous signs that God can do for you. He can take any person, you know, someone you might not be friends with out on the street. And, you know, you end up just being depressed and just turn to a new person. Then you see that person again, and you're actually able to communicate with them, maybe be their friend again. You never know. God can use anybody. So that's the scripture of Acts chapter 9.
verses 1 through 19, how um, God converted Saul. Later on in the passage, they have some more about Saul. So I'll continue reading a little bit later, but for this morning, I'm going to be reading Genesis chapter 16. So see ya, Tintini.